Shanti and welcome back to your channel and we are on the 32nd day of the blessing and in today's blessing Baba gives us a very beautiful sign of how we can stop our thoughts from going into different directions when situations or people present themselves in front of us who are not likely the way we want them to be. So Baba says that which kind of souls will go into heaven or Bahishta or Swarga or Jannat. Think about it. A soul who has got anger, greed, jealousy, ego, unhappiness, sadness. Will that kind of soul go into heaven? You're right. No. So, Baba says in Brahma Kumaris, which is not a religious institution, but it is a spiritual institution, which actually talks about spirituality. So, this is not a conversion of a dharma. It is actually teaching us what is the right dharma of the soul. So if I am a soul and my God the Father is also a Ruhu or soul or Atma, then how am I supposed to be? I am supposed to be as powerful as my Creator, God the Father or Allah or Jehovah or Shiva, whatsoever you want to call Him. So if God the Father says that I am going to create a new world, heaven on earth, this is Kali Yuga. Kali Yuga has to be destroyed and Sata Yuga. Sata means God is truth. So the Sata Yuga means the true Yuga. Or the true age is created only by God the Father who is true. So God says that in that kind of world only those souls who will be powerful enough to stop their thoughts and not go into any kind of upheaval in their thoughts will be able to transition from this old world to the new world. From this old house Kaliuga to the new house. So let's go ahead and understand what Baba is trying to say to us. And by the way, it doesn't matter whether you're a Hindu or a Muslim or a Sikh or an Isai. It is the soul which goes into heaven irrespective of which religion do you belong to. So if you're a powerful soul, if you've learned the art of controlling your thoughts and purifying your thoughts, then you will be ticked off by God the Father to enter heaven irrespective of which bodily religion you were born to. So Baba says, may you stop your thoughts in a second. In one second. See, sometimes situations arise in front of us and we get angry. And then after four or five minutes, we realize, oh, I'm a soul. I'm supposed to be soul conscious. I'm a child of God. I'm a powerful, peaceful soul. And then it takes you two, three minutes, maybe sometimes 10 minutes to come back to that stage of peace. But Baba says it should be one second. Only then you will pass to go into heaven. So may you stop your thoughts in a second and make your foundation strong. So it's foundation of the soul, not the foundation of having money or representing person position or having a lot of wealth around you. That is not the strength which God is talking about. And thereby pass with honor. So even if you are a very poor being who doesn't have enough of wealth, you can still enter the gates of heaven. How? By making your soul powerful, irrespective of what is your physical wealth condition. God doesn't see all those things, not at all. He looks at the soul. Not at your features. That's why he is soul conscious. Not body conscious. So let's go ahead. A paper comes to make you mature. Paper means any kind of situation. From a person or things. And to make your foundation strong. So as to make us more and more soul conscious. So do not be afraid of it. So situations come. We go into why does this happen to me? Why is that soul after me? Why those people don't like me? Or why am I always into trouble? So those are situations which present themselves to make us more stronger and wiser and more soul conscious the way God wants his children to be. So do not be afraid of it and if there is some external upheaval, anything which comes from the outside world, from people, from situations, practice putting a stop to your thoughts in a second and that's what we have to do. If anger comes, it takes us 5 minutes, 10 minutes to cool down. But Baba says by being soul conscious by practicing soul consciousness and meditating you'll reduce that timing to one second and that's the highest achievement no matter how much expansion there is there could be situations where things are going out of our control let's say there's an earthquake and you are running around the whole family is running around there's so much of upheaval there's so much of confusion but during that time bring your thoughts into one concentration make it one connected to god the father and stop your thoughts and in that situation you'll be able to find the right method to get out of it the right idea will come to you no matter how much expansion there is merge it in a second that's what we have to practice in meditation 
no matter whether there is hunger or thirst situations will be like that god has told us before hand in brahma kumaris that this kalyug has to convert into sat yuga and for that a lot of upheaval a lot of changes a lot of uh, dirty bad things have to be destroyed and new things have to be created for that the earth will shake up there will be tsunamis there will be many more things in the world so at that time you will be hungry or thirsty there will be heat or cold so global warming is increasing right so those kind of situations will come but then you need to be in control of your thoughts let your sanskars not emerge sanskars means getting frustrated getting irritated with situations right or getting sad about things so those sanskars have to be merged use the power to pack up to stop them how to pack up your thoughts by having the right understanding which we learn at brahma kumaris why is this happening when is it going to happen when you have all the answers of the test papers which are going to come in the future for you that's the time you can pack up oh yes god had told me those things will happen okay nothing new like this corona virus we already knew that some things like this big big diseases are going to come in the uh, world in the future also so we are already ready for that we are ready to pack it up where the world is fluctuating in their thoughts but we are all in complete control of our thoughts and we are rather praying for the world so use the power to pack up to stop them this practice over a long time will make you pass with honors but for a long time not for a short time only if we practice for a longer time that means if anger is controlled you take 5 minutes now you taking 2 minutes then you take 1 minute then you take 30 seconds and then finally you reach a point where in one second you can just eradicate or evade the thoughts of anger in you that's the practice for a very long time it cannot happen in the last day or the last moment so everything needs practice this practice over a long time will make you pass with honors pass with honor for what to be able to go into the and transition into the new world which god is creating for us not just because of knowing the script or knowing the scriptures or learning things by heart or just praying you get it the thoughts the soul has to be made powerful and pure so as to transition from kalyuga to satyuga so as to transition from hell to heaven so i leave you with this beautiful thought om shanti Thank you.